Can you hear me? Let me. I'm gonna, when it comes time for YouTube, it's ready. So good morning. Good to see you guys. Um, so today we're going to do a bunch of um, eagle arms and legs stuff. So um, it'll be a nice way to get into the shoulders. Um, obviously we'll, you know, we'll do some other stuff too, but um, a lot of what we'll do today will be with the eagle arms and legs. So that'll be, um, that'll be fun. Um, any requests? Anything you guys want to do? Anything else? Okay. All right. So we're going to start in an easy seat. So go ahead and make your way onto your mat, cross your legs in front of your body, and then just get comfy. If you want to sit on a block, you can do that. But just getting comfortable here. Just kind of roll around a little bit. Find your sits bones. Pull your shoulders up to your ears. Press your shoulders back and relax your shoulders down. And then close your eyes. And just begin to settle into this particular space. Noticing how the body feels this morning. Maybe feeling a little stiff. For some of us, this time has meant a little bit more inactivity, not as much movement through the body, just going to and from the way that we normally do. So maybe starting to feel a little, a little sticky. Just get comfortable and notice no rights, no wrongs as is. And you a few nice deep breaths as you pull in the air. And then matching those exhales. Moments of quiet breath. Eventually beginning to make some circles. So roll it out a little bit. Start to roll those shoulders down and back and around. Yeah. Maybe roll the head around a little bit. Give me a, a nod if you feel like the sound is good. Are you hearing me? Okay, thank you. All right, so from here, go ahead and reach your arms up towards the sky. Take a great big reach up. Oh, and then from here, we're gonna come into our, um, into our genie arms, all right? So bring that left arm down and then bring the right arm on top. All right, so just pressing palm into the top of that bottom arm and then pressing the top of the bottom hand into that top elbow, all right? Yeah. And then from here, simply gonna start to reach those elbows up and then bring those arms right there in line with the shoulders. Yeah, reach up and then lower down. A Couple more times, just keep going. Just again, starting to warm up through the shoulders. Finding one more breath. And then as you come back to that center point, we're simply gonna stay seated right where we are. 
lift up through the heart and then take a twist over towards the right. Yeah, so just start to twist over towards the right. Try to let your shoulders relax down, pull in through the belly, and then come back through center and then twist over to the left. Nice. Keep going. Just a slow little twist from side to side, maybe each time noticing that you can twist a little bit deeper by keeping those arms level with the shoulders. That's the tough part. One more time, twist over towards the left. And then as you come back through center, go ahead and start to lift those arms up. So still keeping the same shape and see if you can't bring your biceps in line with your ears. Try to relax your shoulders down and then start to send your gaze up towards the sky. See if you can't pull those arms back a little bit more. Yeah, nice. Take another breath, maybe just a little bit more lift through the chest and then bringing those arms back through center. Now from here, start to reach your shoulders forward, your elbows forward, and then bring the chin into the chest, rounding through the spine. Next, one more deep breath. Go ahead and lift yourself back up. Unwind the arms, bring the hands down to the knees, and then just make some rolls with the shoulders. Yeah, just roll it out. All right, let's do the other side. So reach the arms back up. And then this time, that right arm is gonna be on the bottom, left arm on top, all right? All right, and if you did the opposite side before, then just take it to the opposite, all right? So from here, just gonna lift the arms up and then bring them level. Lift up and level. Just keep going. Be finding a little bit more space, feeling the chest pull through the shoulders. One more time to lift up and then bring those arms back through center. All right, here we go. We're going to take that twist over towards the right to start. So look over that back shoulder, come through center, and then twist to the left. Back through center, and then just a couple times side to side, maybe each time twisting a little bit deeper. One more. And then over to that left last time. Nice. Bring it back. Arms lift up. All right, so here we go. Start to lift up through the heart, relax the shoulders down, gaze up. Yeah. And again, be mindful that you're still pressing hand into arm, top of that back hand into the back of the elbow. One more breath to look up. And then bring those elbows back through center, reach forward, and then round into the spine. Nice. And lift the head up, relax down. Again, just make some circles. This time, let's take a couple of rolls through the neck. So settle the shoulders, relax down hands, just resting on the knees. Go ahead and drop your chin to your chest. And then bring up right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. Left ear, left shoulder. Just kind of take it side to side. And then if you feel like it feels okay and you want to drop the head all the way back, feel free. If you're dropping the head back, making circles. Maybe switch the direction. And one more time around. Coming back up through center. This time, sit up tall, feel the crown of the head reach up, and then we're simply gonna look over our right shoulder. So just look over that right shoulder. Notice that the shoulders try to ride up, just relax them down. And then see if you can't send the gaze as far back behind you as you can. It's actually an optical stretch, a stretch for your eyeballs. So look back. Bringing it back through center and then taking that gaze over the left shoulder. Again, once that chin comes right there to the shoulder, then start to send the eyeballs back. And then back through center. All right, so we're going to do the same thing that we did in those genie arms, but this time we're going to do it with the eagle arms. So if eagle arms aren't in your practice, come back and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so if you're taking the eagle arms, go ahead and reach your arms up and then bring that right arm underneath of the left. 
So maybe it's the backs of the hands touching. Maybe you can find connection here. Maybe you're grabbing onto a wrist, whatever works. And again, if this doesn't work at all, come back to those genomes, okay? All right, so here we go. Same thing. Just start to lift up. Yeah, so if you've got those elbows bound together, then you're reaching the elbows up towards the sky. And then from here, we're gonna round into the spine. So come a little bit deeper, chin to the chest. Yeah, lift up. Feel the shoulder blades separate, and then elbows in. Take it two more times, lift up, and squeeze those elbows in. Last time, up to the sky. Bring it in, round through the spine, and then come up. All right, here we go, gonna twist it out. So start by twisting it over towards the right, through center, over to the left. Yeah, if you're in the bind, if you're in the eagle arm bind, you'll notice it takes a little bit more ab work in this particular, with this arm variation, a little bit more for the obliques. Yeah, a little more restriction there through the torso. All right, last time, twisting over to the left and then come back. All right, here we go. Just like we did before, if you're in the if you're in the genie arms, arms are gonna come up and outside of the ears. If you're in eagle arms, press down through your sits bones and then start to lift up. You're gonna feel your shoulder blades really start to, to come wide. Yeah, so lift those elbows up. And then if it feels okay, drop your head back, stretching through the front of the throat. If that's too much, then just gaze towards the arms. Take one more breath. So if you can't lift up one last time, and then come back through center. All right, again, reach forward and then squeeze those elbows in, releasing the chin towards the chest, rounding through the spine. It's a seated cat. One more big inhale. And then from here, go ahead and lift your head up, unwind your arms. This time, bring your hands to the tops of the shoulders and then just make some circles with those elbows. Yeah. Switch it to the other direction. All right, last time through, here we go. Nice, warm and juicy shoulders by the time we're done with all this. This time we're bringing that left arm underneath of the right. Here we go, just lifting up and then rounding down. Same thing with those genie arms. Maybe this side is accessible. It's funny with the eagle arms. Sometimes one side is a little bit more open than the other. So if you had to take genie arms on one side, maybe you can find the bind on this side. Nice. One more time, up and down. Come through center, here we go. Twist over towards the left and center towards the right. Yeah, just take it side to side. One more time. I'm bringing it back, here we go. All right, lift the elbows up. Open up through the heart. Yeah, feel yourself press down through the sit spots. Maybe a little bit of a back bend there, just like we would if you we were in our cow posture. Open up, maybe lift one more time, and then squeeze it all in. Pull it in, chin to the chest, round into the spine. Just let the head hang heavy. And then back through center. Last time, hands come to the shoulders. Couple circles each direction. Just loosening up all of that tightness. Some power through the shoulders. All right. And then from here, go ahead and release your hands down. Extend your legs out in front of you, and then we're going to slowly roll ourselves down. So if you want to keep the feet flat on the mat, you can, or you can keep the arms long or the legs long. We're going to come into a full body stretch once we get down to the mat. So it's your choice. Reach those arms forward. Plug it in, squeeze in through the belly. If you've got the legs extended, try to keep those heels right there on the ground and then slowly start to lower yourself all the way to the ground. Take your time, let the abs do a little bit of work on the way down. And then once you get down to your back, arms reach up overhead, big full body stretch. Reach through the fingers, reach through the toes. And then from here, hands come down by your sides, plant the feet on the mat, and from here, Lift your right leg up and over, okay? So we're gonna come into a variation of eagle legs. Now, if you can bring that um, left shin on top of the right toes, great for the bind. Otherwise, just keep that foot to the outside of the shin, okay? 
All right, use your hands to help squeeze the knees in towards the chest. And then from here, free the arms, release those knees off towards the left. Try to keep that right shoulder down, but it's early, so if it pops up, that's fine. Come back through center, drop the knees over towards the right. And if they don't make it all the way to the ground, that's totally fine with this bind. It's a little bit more difficult to get the knees down to the ground. Just taking it side to side a couple of times. Nice warm up for the spine, a little snap crackle one more time each side. And then once you get back through center, go ahead and reach the legs up towards the sky. Make a couple circles with the ankles, roll it out. And then this time bringing that left knee on top of the right. Again, use the hands to squeeze the knees in to start and then free those arms. Here we go, drop the knees off towards the right, through center to the left. Yeah, keep that belly strong, keep your breath moving. Nice. One more time, side to side. And then bringing it back through center. Again, legs reach up towards the sky. Go ahead and circle out the ankles. All right, from here, just hug the knees in for a minute. So we're gonna put it all together, all right? So go ahead and bring that right arm underneath of the left. And for whatever reason, it's a lot easier to come into this bind when you're on your back. So you may be able to come into the eagle bind, but if not, then just bring your palms together and your elbows together, okay? All right, so here we go. You're gonna bring that right, you've got the right arm under, so we're gonna bring the right leg under. All right, so we're coming back into those eagle legs and eagle arms. Let's do some crunches. So start to lift your elbows up to meet your knees and then tap the toes, tap the fingertips behind you. Lift up, crunch it in and lower down. Squeeze and release. Keep going, keep breathing. And when you lift up, really try to feel those shoulder blades lift off of the ground. Here we go for three. For two, one more time, hold, hold, hold. So bring the elbows in to meet the knees, try to feel yourself lift up through the chest, squeeze through the belly, one more inhale, and then unwind. Take it to a full body stretch. Just find all that length, should feel good in the belly, and the shoulders, wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. And then here we go, other side. So bring the knees back and towards the chest. This time we've got that left arm under, bringing that left leg over. All right, so here we go. Bringing it back into meat and then lower down. Squeeze and release. Keep breathing. Yeah, easy to want to hold our breath when we're doing abdominals, but it's very important to keep that breath moving. Here we go for three. For two, one more breath, come up to hold. Yeah, squeeze it all in tight, tight, tight. And then last time to unwind, taking it to full body stretch. Let's take a side bend. So use that right hand to grab onto the left wrist, start to take that side bend over towards the right and then walk your feet over towards the right corner of your mat, opening up through the left side body. And then finding your way back through center, switch out the grip of the hands, take that side bend over to the left, and then the, walk those feet over towards the left corner. Should feel really nice and juicy through that right side. And bringing it back through center, hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a big squeeze, and then cross your right ankle over top of your left, start to rock and roll a couple times, eventually finding our way over onto hands and knees coming into our tabletop position. So coming into tabletop, just one round of cat and cow, just again to neutralize the spine. So go ahead and drop the belly down, send the gaze up, press into the hands and then scoot through the belly. Come back into your tabletop. All right, guys, we're going straight into downward facing dog from here. So go ahead and curl the toes under and then lift your hips up towards the sky, coming into downward facing dog. So here in down dog, first couple breaths, just pedal it out a little bit, shake out the head, shake out the neck. Yeah. All right, now 
from here, go ahead and drop that right heel down to the mat and then pull that left knee in towards the chest. Still have the left toes on the ground, but you're pulling your chest back towards that left thigh. Make sure you're using your whole hand. Try not to hyperextend through the arms, but feel the upper arm bones kind of externally rotate. Take one more breath and then switch it out. Drop that left heel down, bend deeply in towards that right knee and then pull the chest back towards the thigh. Just let that head relax. Beautiful, one more breath. Drop both heels down to the ground and then lift up to the tiptoes. Lower the heels down and then rise to the toes. One more time, release heels down, lift toes up, and then relax those feet back down. From here, we're gonna walk the hands back towards the feet. So come all the way to the feet, okay? And once you get there, let's take a quick rag doll. So just grab onto opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy, just sway it out for a moment. All right. From here, we're gonna bring that right foot behind the left, okay? So take a deep bend in towards that left knee and bring that right foot back. So this is where the blocks might come into play. So bringing the pinky toes to meet, okay? And then from here, start to walk your hands over towards the left. Again, head just relaxes. Again, try not to hyperextend through that right knee. So if you need a little bit of bend there, let that happen. Walk your hands back through center, take it over to the right, feeling that stretch to the outside of that left hip. And then back through center. All right, from here, bring your hands to your heart, bend into the knees, and then slowly begin to rise up. Yeah, coming up. All right, from here, I'm no longer gonna be mirroring you, so we're just going with it. All right. So look, we're already set up for eagle. So great. We're just going to do the legs this time now. Okay, so go ahead and sink into it. So you can keep that right foot. I'm sorry, you can keep the left foot to the outside of the right, or maybe you bring that left foot to the outside of that right shin. Again, maybe you tuck the toes, right? All right, here we go. Reach the arms up towards the sky and then bend the elbows into cactus arms. So we're just in the eagle legs right now. Sink a little bit lower into those hips. Yes. Squeeze through the belly. Shoulders are right there over top of the hips, just like we would be if we were in our eagle arms. One more breath to sink a little bit lower. And then lift yourself back up. Reach the arms to the sky. From here, palms come to the heart. We're coming into our tree pose, okay? So your variation of tree. Left foot coming to the inside of that right shin or to the inside of the right thigh. Just be mindful to keep the left foot away from that right knee. All right. Since we're doing everything a little bit opposite, we're going to come into our eagle arms from here. Okay. So reach the arms up and then sweep that right arm underneath of the left. So again, maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. No wrong answer. Keep yourself lifted. Yeah, maybe those elbows lift up just a little bit more. Squeeze in. Yeah, wherever you are with that left foot, press it firmly into that right leg and then use that right leg to press back. One more deep breath. And then unwind. Reach the arms up towards the sky. And then exhale to fold forward. Inhale for halfway lift. And then hands down to the ground. All right. This time, we're going to switch it out. So we're going to bring that left foot behind the right foot, okay? All right. Nice. From here, feel yourself lift up and then bring the chest towards the thighs. Start to walk the hands over towards the left. Let the head hang heavy. Bring it back through center. Walk it over to the right. And then back through center. All right, a little bit of bend through the knees as we begin to rise up. Awesome. Arms reach to the sky. All right, here we go. So we're coming into our eagle on this side with that left foot grounded. So you decide. Maybe it's a kickstand, maybe the foot to the outside of that left shin, or maybe you're tucking toes, right? Once you get those legs ready to go, 
Go ahead and bend back into the elbows. Take those cactus arms. Sink into the hips. Spark the fingers. Yeah, feel your crown. Just reach up towards the sky, but sinking in towards those hips. Nice. One more deep breath. And then start to lift up. This time, palms come to the heart to start. And then we find our tree legs. So you decide. Maybe it's a kickstand, maybe foot to the shin, or maybe foot to the inside of the thigh. All right, here we go. Taking those eagle arms. So arms reach towards the sky. This time, left arm underneath of the right. Your variation, whatever it looks like. Now, once you find the arms that work best for you, start to lift those elbows up. Still keeping that standing leg firm. Trying to press through all four corners of the feet, but try not to grip with the toes. Yeah. Last chance to lift those elbows up just a little bit higher. And then slowly begin to unwind. Reach the arms to the sky. Relax the foot down. Take a breath. And then from here, bring your hands to your low back. I'm gonna take a little bit here of our little standing baby camel. So press the palms in towards the low back. The feet can be together or they can be separated. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, press your shoulders back. And then from here, use your hands to very gently send your pelvis forward, trying to work those elbows together, shoulder blades together. And just take a little bit of a back bend here. Try not to dump into your low back. It's really a heart opener because you're lifting through the chest. One more deep inhale. And then on your exhale, palm back through center. Bring the palms to the heart. Take a deep inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. And then from here, let's find some sun salutations. Arms reach to the sky. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale for halfway lift, hands down. Step it back to downward facing dog. So lift those hips to the sky. And then roll yourself out into plank pose. From here, drop your knees down to the ground. We're gonna take this variation with our push-ups through our sun salutations today. So we always have the option to drop the knees. We're just gonna start with one push-up and then we'll work our way up to two and then to three. So from here. Bend those elbows, pull the elbows in towards the rib cage. Lower your chest down to hover. Hold here, press yourself back up. Curl the toes under, lift the hips to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Right leg to the sky, step the foot forward. Bring the left foot to meet. Inhale, half lift, hands down. Reach it to the sky. And then bow right back down. Inhale, exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. Roll it out to plank. Again, knees release to the earth, flip the tops of the feet, squeeze the elbows in. Lower down, just to hover. Press yourself back up. Curl the toes under, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, left leg reaches up. Step it through. Right foot, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana. Up to the sky, and then right back down, hold forward, inhale, exhale. Back to downward facing dog. This time it's your choice as you roll forward to plank. Maybe knees are up, maybe knees are down. We're coming down for two. So here we go, lower down, press up. Lower down, press up. Hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, right leg, send it up. Step it to the top of the mat, left foot finds the right. Inhale, find that half lift. Exhale to fold, reach it all the way up. Maybe a little bit of a back bend there, always that option. And then fold it forward. Inhale, exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Forward to plank. Again, your choice. Knees up, knees down. Coming down for two. Press up. One more. Press up. Hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Find your breath. Oh, big exhale. Left leg. Reach it all the way up. 
step it forward. Bring that right foot to me. Two more rounds. Inhale and exhale to the sky and fold forward. Halfway lift. Hands down. Step it back. Urtha Mukha, downward facing dog. All right, so we're going to make our way into three push-ups. So your choice. Here we are, back out of plank, knees up, knees down. Your choice. Take it to hover. Press up. Lower to hover. Press up. Last time. Hips to the sky. This time, three cleansing breaths in down dog or in child's pose. Take a deep breath. Yes, three of them. In through the nose and out through the mouth. One more breath. And go ahead and look forward. Send that left, I'm sorry, right leg up. Find the top of the mat. Bring the left foot in. Last time through. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to take it down. And then reach it all the way up. Nice, last time. Hold forward. Inhale. And exhale, back to down dog, back to plank for three, two, one more. Lift the hips to the sky, come back to downward facing dog. Again, three breaths. You got this. One last inhale. Hmm, left leg reaches up. Step it through. Bring that right foot to meet. Inhale for halfway lift. And then exhale to fold. From here, coming into our gorilla. So lift up those left toes and slide that left hand underneath. Lift up the right toe, slide that right hand. So it's your choice. Maybe the knees are straight or maybe they're bent. I want you to get your toes in towards your wrist crease. So if that requires a nice deep bend in the knees, then go ahead and make that happen. Once you get there, release through the head and the neck. Wiggle the toes. Give that wrist, those wrists a little bit of a massage. And then just start to sway side to side a little bit here. And just let those hips go side to side. And then coming back through center, go ahead and pull the hands out from underneath of the feet. Walk the feet together and then bend into the knees, come into a squat position. Okay? Yeah, so come on into squat. Ooh, so I fall over. All right. From here, coming back into those eagle arms, arms reach up. Bringing that right arm underneath of the left. Maybe it's those, those genie arms. Ooh, my balance. All right, bang. go ahead and lift up. And then from here, we're gonna take a twist, all right? So we're gonna bring the elbows to the outside of the right knee. So bring those elbows to the outside of the right knee. And if you're in genie arms, same thing. Just bringing that elbow outside, okay? All right, try to look back behind you. Try not to rest your chest on your thighs. That's a nice way to try to find a little bit more balance, but we're trying to hold the balance here. See if you can't find a little bit more rotation through the rib cage. One more breath. Come back through center. Woo, reach the arms up. And then switch it out. Bring that left arm underneath of the right. Your variation of equal arms. And this time we'll twist it over towards the left. Yeah, so again, trying to keep that belly off the thighs. Try to pull the shoulders up, back, and down. And then rotate. Look back behind you. Beautiful, one more breath. Come back through center. Find that center of gravity, reach the arms up. And then exhale, hands down, lift the hips up. From here, separate the feet back to that hip distance. This time coming in for our peace finger hold. So use your peace fingers to grab onto the big toes. Go ahead and lengthen out through the arms, flatten the back. And then exhale, bend the elbows, bring the nose towards the knees. Maybe putting a little bit more weight in towards the balls of the feet rather than pressing back into the heels. Chest comes towards the thighs, nose towards the knees for three big breaths. One 
Wonderful. One more breath. All right. Go ahead and unwind again. Wiggle those feet back together. Coming back down into that squat just for a moment. And then bring your hands behind you to lower your bum down to the ground. All right. We have a couple of options here. So we're gonna start by sending that right leg straight out in front of us. And then we're gonna bring the left foot over, okay? Now, bring your hands behind you, fingers facing in towards your butt. So first option is to start to bend that left knee and then bring the knees in towards the body. You'll start to feel a little bit of a pinch through that right, sorry, left hip flexor. And maybe just stay right here, lifting up, pulling your chest in towards your thighs. All right, next option is to press into the hands, press into that, that right foot, and then start to lift your hips up, coming into our reverse tabletop, all right? If you're in reverse tabletop and you wanna stay, stay. Last option is a little bit more shoulder work. From here, we start to dip the hips down and then press up, lower down, press up, three more. Wherever you are is exactly where you're supposed to be. So just breathe into that particular space. Last time, if you're coming in for the dips, lift up and then lower the hips down. Go ahead and extend the legs, unwind arms, reach up, and then exhale, fold forward, let it go. Yeah, just grabbing onto whatever works. Maybe it's the shins, maybe it's the calves, ankles, toes, whatever. Take a big breath as you lift up through the heart and then exhale to fold. Try not to let those shoulders ride up. Try to relax the shoulders. Gaze is towards the toes. One more breath. And then slowly begin to lift yourself back up. All right, let's do the other side. So this time we're gonna keep that left leg straight, bringing the right knee over and then hands behind you, press the palms into the mat, fingers in towards your bum, and then pull that left, left knee in, right? Okay, so again, maybe staying here, just working chest in towards thighs, feeling that pinch this time through the right hip flexor. Maybe pressing into that left foot, lifting yourself up into that reverse tabletop, the cross of the legs, and then perhaps taking those five dips, wherever you are, coming into dips, take it down, Lift it up. Yeah, try not to let those elbows go wide. Right there in line with the hips. So strong for three. For two. Last time. Lift it up. Lower yourself down. This time coming into our Baddha Konasana. So bringing the soles of the feet together. Hands come to the ankles. Knees go wide, maybe a little bit of wiggle, wiggle side to side. And lift up through the heart. And then on your exhale, bend into the elbows, pressing the elbows in towards the knees. Your choice, you can keep the gaze forward, flattening out through the back, a little bit more of a hip stretch. Or if you'd like a little bit more through the spine, then begin to round into the spine, chin it towards the chest. You'll notice that that hip stretch starts to dissipate a little bit when the chin comes in towards the chest. Whatever stretch it is you're looking for, take it. One more breath. Nice. Go ahead and lift yourself back up. Hands come to the knees, and then go ahead and roll yourself down onto your back. Take a couple rocket rolls, and we will eventually land on our feet. So maybe as you take that last roll, a little bit of momentum, press the feet to the ground and rise up. Maybe no hands, maybe not. <laughs> nice. All right, you may have been asking the question, are we ever going to do traditional eagle? And the answer is yes, now we are. So go ahead and find your way into your Utkatasana, your chair pose. So sink low, reach the arms up, pressing the knees together to start, plugging the shoulders in. Yeah, lift up through the heart. One more time to press down. And here we go. Right arm underneath of the left, right leg over top, coming into our traditional eagle, Garandasana. So start to sink down into the hips, shoulders over those hips, and then lift the elbows up, whatever variation you've got through the arms. Taking three breaths. 
Maybe each exhale can take your hips a little bit lower. Nice, one more time. From here, unwind yourself, come back into that Utkatasana just for one breath, and then exhale to fold forward. Inhale for halfway lift, hands down, step it back, traditional vinyasa or straight into downward facing dog. You choose how you want to make your way back into your Urdhva Mukha. Once you get back to downward facing dog, go ahead and reach that right leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip, make some circles with the ankles. Circle out with the knee. And then re-extend that right leg to the sky. Go ahead and look forward, step that foot forward, rise up into your warrior one. Come on up into warrior one. So here we are, hips level, maybe using the hands, maybe wiggling that right foot out if need be, relaxing through the shoulders, pulling the pinkies in towards one another. Go ahead and send the gaze up towards the sky, maybe a little bit of a back bend there. Finding one more breath. From here, hands come behind the back, bringing that right thumb on top to interlace, gonna come into our humble warrior. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then slowly begin to bring that right shoulder down. Either resting the right shoulder on top of the right knee or starting to work that right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Finding that left shoulder, meeting back through the center, so trying to keep it square. Maybe that fist lifts up a little bit higher. Notice if all of the weight is in the right foot, try to press some weight into that left foot. One more deep breath. Slowly begin to rise back up from here. Rotate onto the ball of the left foot, coming into our crescent lunge, all right? So we still have those bound arms. We're just gonna sink down into the hips a little bit more. Maybe lifting that fist up one more time. From here, making our way into our warrior three. So putting weight into that right foot, start to kick off of that back foot, and then lift up, yeah. Try to drop down through that right hip. Try to send those right toes to the ground. Gaze is forward. Taking one more deep breath. Maybe you lift up that back leg one more time. And then from here, step the foot back. Unwind the arms, warrior two. Yeah. Get comfy in your warrior two. Relax the shoulders down. Lots and lots of space between the fingertips. Go ahead and flip the palms up towards the sky. And then take it back to reverse. Yeah, maybe that left hand on the left thigh, maybe that hand behind the back. Reaching those fingertips back behind you. Taking one more breath here. And then finding your way into extended side angle. Very gently resting that right elbow on the right knee. Left arm reaches up and over. Lock the shoulder in. Again, gaze towards the sky. If it feels okay on the neck. Try not to let yourself roll forward, opening up chest towards the sky. One more breath to find a little bit more reach through those fingertips. And then making your way back into your warrior two. Sink down into it. One more breath here. And then extending that front leg, pivoting the toes over. And then arms reach to the sky, five pointed star. Yeah, take a breath. Maybe sending those arms back behind the ears and opening up. And then bringing the palms to the heart center. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. From here, modified skandasana. So keeping those hands at the heart, just begin to bend into one knee, straightening out the opposite leg side to side. All right, next time. That left knee bends. Go ahead and take a little bit deeper bend. All right, so I want you to pull your right toes so that they're parallel to the short edge of the mat, and then lift up the left toes and then rotate those left toes towards the left corner of the mat. So your knee is gonna go out slightly. From here, start to sink a little bit lower. You actually feel a nice stretch through the inner and the outer thigh on that right leg. Breathe. Two more breaths, maybe sinking a little bit lower. One more time, sink one more time. Yeah, you got this. 
and then taking the bend out, bringing those toes back in. Last time to reach the arms towards the sky. Take it back to warrior two as your transition. Crop all the hands down, step it back, vinyasa through if you want it, or skip it if you don't. Go ahead and find your way back to downward facing dog. Take a breath. Oh, exhale to let it go. Go ahead and bend deeply into the knees. Send the gaze to the thumbs and then hop or step to top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale to fold. You want to reach the arms back to the sky and then sink into your Utkatasana. Lug it in. Here we go. Last time. Left arm underneath of the right. Left leg up and over, coming into eagle. Last time, promise. So sink into it. Again, notice if you're rolling forward, try to lift up. Elbows right there in line with the shoulders. Two. One more breath to sink. And then unwind back to your Utkatasana chair pose. Just one breath. And then fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Hands down. Make your way through a vinyasa or down dog. Last standing series. Once you find your way to down dog, this time left leg reach to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. Re extend that leg. Look forward, step it through. Come on up into your warrior one. Again, mindful of those even hips. Now press evenly through the feet, trying to keep everything in line here. Beautiful, one more deep breath. And this time, as the hands come behind the back, the left thumb is on top, a little bit more of an awkward grip for most of us. Start to lift this that fist off of the back, shoulders squeeze together. And then here we go, take it into our humble warrior. Again, maybe that shoulder rests on the knee or maybe it comes to the inside. But again, trying to square yourself up. Squeeze in through the belly. Feel the inner thighs press towards one another. Final deep breath. And then slowly beginning to lift yourself back up, keeping the arms as they are, hopping up onto the ball of that right foot, and then sinking into your lunge. Send the gaze forward. Here we go, making our way into warrior three. Left foot presses into the mat, and then right foot lifts up. Find your balance. Some days are better than others with balance. Notice where you are today, no judgment. One more deep breath. And then we step the foot down, take it into that warrior two. Wiggle in that back foot. And then see if you can't find just a little bit more space there. Yeah, external rotation through that front back. Palms flip to the sky, take it back, or reverse. Maybe there's a bind, maybe you're gently resting the hand on the thigh. One more breath. And then extend the side angle. Plug the shoulder in. And the weight is not in that arm. It's the top arm that's lifting you up. Take one more deep breath right here. And then finding your way back into your warrior two. It's time pulling that knee straight and then pivot the toes in towards one another, coming back to that five-pointed star, working his arms in line with the ears. And then bringing the palms into the heart center. Again, coming in and out of that modified skandhasana, side to side. And then this time, the next time you land on that right side, we stay, all right? We pull the left toes in so that they're parallel to the short edge of the mat. 
And then we lift up the right toes, turning them out towards the right corner of your mat. And reach the arms to the sky, if that feels good. And then sink down into it, yeah. Notice again, external rotation. But knee right there over the ankle, relax the shoulders. Beautiful. One more deep breath. And then take it back to your five-pointed star. Last vinyasa, come back through to warrior two. Cartwheel it down and eventually find your way into child's pose. Releasing the knees to the ground, sending the hips to the heels. Just relaxing into your child's pose. One more breath here in child's pose. And then lifting your shoulders up over your hips. Go ahead and roll over to that right hip. And extend the legs out in front of you. Give them a little bit of a shake. And then from here, we're gonna bring that right knee in towards the chest, so squeeze it in. And then step the foot over and find our twist. So we reach that right arm up towards the scap, drop it back behind you, either grabbing onto the knee or using the elbow to hook, sit up tall, and then bring it out, go back behind you. One more breath to lift up through the heart. One more exhale to bring it out. Coming through center, just take it over into a counter twist, walking the arms over to the left. Press the palms into the mat, bend the elbows, and again, gaze back behind you, feeling your heart rotate up and back. And bring it back through center. From here, bring that foot now to the inside of the left leg. Send that left leg out to a little bit of an angle. Coming in for our Dhanushya Shasana, arms reach up. Go ahead and rotate your torso so that it's level with that left leg. Take a breath. And then exhale, fold forward. Doesn't matter where the hands fall. Just again, feeling the stretch along the back of the spine, along the hamstring, maybe right there, a little bit in the low back. One more breath. Use this exhale as your deepest fold. And then lifting yourself up. Go ahead and bring that left leg back through center. And then from here, we're gonna rock the baby. So lift that right shin up, grab onto the outside of the knee, grab onto the outside of the foot, and just take it side to side. Option to stay right here or to grab onto the hands in front, squeezing the shin in towards the body, relaxing the shoulders down. Just one breath here, a nice little hip stretch. And then extend the leg, pull that left knee in, and then step it over, setting yourselves up for the twist on this side, left arm to the sky, drop it back behind you, either hand or elbow, your choice up. And then look back. Three breaths here to twist, bringing out all of the toxins, all of that good stuff. Finding your way back through center to take the counter twist. Look back, bend through the elbows. Center. This time bringing that left foot to the inside of the right thigh, sliding that leg out just to a little bit of an angle, arms to the sky, rotate, and then take it to your fold. And lifting yourself back up. Slide that foot back in your center. Last time, grab it onto the foot, to the knee, taking it side to side to rock your baby. 
stay here. We're seeing if the foot can't come to the inside of the elbow and then knee to the inside of the opposite elbow, squeezing that shin in towards the chest. Release, send the leg long. Again, making our way down onto our back. Slowly, slowly, lowering yourself all the way down. Once you get there, hug the knees into the chest. Any last movements you need, if you want to take an inversion, you want to find a happy laughing baby. Otherwise, sending the legs long. Releasing your hands by your sides and settling in for Savasana, our final resting pose. Taking about two minutes here in Savasana to just let all of the effects of your practice take hold. Feeling those fingers roll in towards the palms. Letting those pinky toes roll outward. slowly and gently beginning to reawaken the body wiggling out through those fingers and toes making circles the ankles and the wrists rocking your hips from side to side rolling the back of the head from side to side. Eventually finding your way back into that full body stretch, wiggling fingers, wiggling toes. Pulling your knees into your chest and then rolling off to your right side, coming into fetal position. Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. But today I am wise. So instead, I am working to change myself. Very slowly, begin to bring yourself back to that easy seat, crossing the legs in front of the body bringing your palms to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. Bringing your thumbs up to your forehead, your third eye center. May all beings be happy. May all beings be loved. And may all beings be safe. I bow to each of you in Namaste. Thank you guys. Thanks so much for being here. It was so good to actually see you guys. So um, the Ease Yoga um, website has a donate button. All of the classes are free, but if you are thinking about wanting to donate, feel free to do so there. It can be $3, it can be whatever you've got to give, or not at all, which is fine too. So 
but it was so good to see you. Um, I hope that you guys are all well and uh, hopefully I will see you back here soon. I'm, um, so I teach the Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. and um, Saturday at 11. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.